welcome back to my channel. So today we have the always exciting, cannot wait, Square Hue unboxing. Today is Thursday. I got this in the mail on Saturday, which is really, really exciting how early I was able to get this uh, month's box from Square Hue. Very, very nice. I appreciate it. But I just am barely getting a chance to sit down and film it now. I've been recording videos for my vlogging channel. I know, right? I will pause for all the gasps and the murmurs and like the clutching the pearl moments. I know. I'm bringing back from the dead my vlogging channel and I'm really doing some fun things over there. So I have started the life magic tidying, changing, changing magically, lifing with the tidying. I don't know. <laughs> I always get the title mixed up. I've actually started like cleaning up, purging my home, and I've been documenting it and putting it up on my vlogging channel. So if you enjoy watching this crazy hot mess go through all the skeletons in her closet and pulling out all the crap that she owns, go ahead and check out my vlogging channel, Chazita. I've been really enjoying it and it's been very like a very cathartic experience for me. So go ahead and check it out if that sounds like something you'd like to watch or participate in or discussion with. I don't know. But that's what I'm doing. That's why it's taking me like forever to actually get around to unboxing this month's Square Hue box. Um, but I cannot wait. It looks, I'm so excited. I will link Square Hue's website down below so you can go check it out if you are interested. And of course, I would love to thank uh, Square Hue for providing this month's box free for review. Thank you once again to Square Hue. I am absolutely thrilled that you guys are so willing to provide these months for free to this crazy wackadoo over here because these are awesome polishes. This month's box, we are, I don't really, we don't really know what's in this box, but we do have our clues. So let's take a look at that picture for reference. We are scootering through Key West, and if we look at this picture here, these three boxes kind of give us a hint or a clue um, as to what colors we could expect. It doesn't really tell us like formulas, but we've got some color hints in here. Let's just open up this baby because I am super, super excited. So I've got my skizzers, right? And then I go this way. See, look, I, I've, I've learned my lesson <laughs> from the past like a million boxes I've opened. Like you'd think by now I'd have this under control, but I don't. All right, here we go. Mm. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? What? Okay, so there's our card. Ooh, they changed the worms. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> get, get out of there! Get out of there! What, what, what? I can't see. I can't see. I'm too far away from the camera. What is it? What is it? Whoa! Yes! Oh! What? <laughs> this is so pretty! Calm down. Here we go. So here is our card with the teaser picture, and then we've got our live swatches over to the side here. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna start with this mint green over here because it's. I can't. I have to look at it right away. <gasps> this is gorgeous. This is called Duval Street, and it's a mint green. I have been like addicted to this spring kind of pastel pistachio mint green. I can't get enough of it. This is labeled as a high gloss cream. It looks really, really thick too. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I can't wait to try this one out. This one's gonna be gorgeous. The next one is this like pink in the middle. It's gorgeous. Okay, this is called Mallory Square. It's labeled as a micro glitter. The color base is definitely like that light cotton candy pink. And then there are some like purpley type glitters running through there that are super, super finely milled. I can't tell if they're iridescent glitters or just purple because I don't really see a color shift from like blue to purple to like maybe a yellow. It's definitely like a bluish purpley kind of color because I open it up right now. It's a little bit kind of watery, but I don't know. We will see. And I think these two are a match made in heaven. They're so cute together. And then the cuteness continues because we have this last bottle here. And it's so pretty. It is a like deep magenta. Whew, be still my heart with a duochrome shift happening. It is so 
sexy. Like, this is a sexy, sexy pink. Sorry, I had like jumping right in and I haven't even introduced the gal. Her name is Southernmost Point and it is labeled as a duochrome. Like we have noticed a couple of times with uh, Square Hue when they label things as duochrome, it's not really duochrome enough for me. I usually tend to just think like, oh, that's a really nice shimmer. If I think of it as a shimmer and not so much a duochrome, we are okay. This one looks a lot stronger than the last duo chrome. I can't wait to try it out because it looks so pretty. Um, so all in all, like all of these colors going together look so pretty. I feel like this box is just amazing. I love this color palette, mainly because it's like over 50% pink and I absolutely adore it. 10 out of 10 for square hue. Back at it again with the amazing polishes. I just, Square Hue, you make me so happy. Now here comes the fun part where we get to look at next month's picture. So it's the Sail Windward Islands. It looks very nautical, which is perfect for summer. There's like a green in the wash that she has, and so it looks like it could be like a Kelly green, which would be fun. It looks like we also might be dealing with like maybe a gold or a red or a burgundy. It's kind of hard to tell because there's a lot happening in that jacket thing that she's wearing. So that's a question mark. And then it looks like we might be getting another red or possibly like a white. It's hard to tell. I don't know. I trust Square Hue because they have been doing a fantastic, a fantastic job so far this year. Like I'm thoroughly impressed. Each box has been a standing ovation from me because I am absolutely in love with these polishes. For those of you that got this month's box, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? I know some of you out there are not huge pink fans, so how do we feel about getting a box that's over, you know, 60% of it is pink? Thoughts, comments, concerns? I'm very curious, because I want to know if you guys loved it as much as I do, because I love it. That is my Square Hue unboxing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!